Okay, so looking at another proof, um, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So parallelogram means that the opposite sides are parallel to each other, and we can see that because of the double arrows there and the single arrows there. So we know A, D are parallel with B, C, and A, B is parallel with D, C. And they're asking us, part A, prove that X is equal to Y. So they want us to prove that this is equal to this. And part B, prove that A is equal to B. So, I don't want to start with what they want me to prove, but I need to start with what I know. And really, the only thing I know about the shape is that I've got parallel lines. So I'm going to think about my parallel line rules. One thing I might do if I'm looking at x and y is try to find ways to relate them. So, using the two, these two parallel lines, I can make a U shape there and realize that I've got co-interior angles. So with co-interior angles, I could say that A is equal to 180 degrees minus X. Co-int angles on parallel lines equal 180 degrees. So A plus X is supposed to equal 180. I could also say that A is equal to 180 minus X. Doesn't matter which way you write it. But with a little bit of experience, you get some intuition for what you're trying to do. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually look at another relationship, because again, I'm trying to get x and y equal to each other. So I've got some expression for x. Let's look to see if I can make an expression for y using something similar to what I used for x. And since I used a and x to make a relationship there, I might look to see if I can use a and y. So if I use these parallel lines instead, AD and BC, knowing that they're parallel because they've told me that, um, I can also notice that I've got another U-shape here for co-interior angles. So I could say, just to write it a different way so you can see it done a different way, I could say here that Y is equal to 180 minus A. Co-int angles parallel lines equal 180. And just as a side note, I could have said A is equal to 180 minus 11 as well, but I'm writing it out the other way just so you get a chance to see a different way to, to do this. So, what I notice now is that I have an expression for A, and I have an expression for Y using A. So they both have something in common. This one has the X in it that I'm trying to get to. This one has the Y, and they both have A. So I'm going to replace the A using substitution with... So I'm going to replace the A with 180 minus X. So as you see here, I'm going to have Y is equal to 180 minus all that stuff, and put it into brackets as a tip for you if there's more than one term, otherwise you'll screw up your negatives. So I'm going to say bracket minus 180 minus X. That's my substitution, that's what A used to be. Now if I simplify this, y is equal to 180 minus 180. Think of that as a negative 1 that you have to expand through. So 180 minus 180 plus x, and 180 minus 180 is 0, so you get y is equal to x. Same thing as x is equal to y. So your proof is done. Okay. Second part here, they want us to prove that a is equal to b. So again, similar thing. I'm not going to depend on what they've done already. I'm going to think about starting the problem fresh. So let's take a look. Okay, I might erase my highlighting here so we can start fresh. Here I want to try and prove A is equal to B. So again, that's what I'm trying to get to at the bottom. I want to say down here A is equal to B or something. But at the start, I have to tar start with what I know, which is that I have parallel lines. So Let's take a look. Um, again, I might think, is there some way that I can write A and B so that they have something in common, maybe both in terms of X or both in terms of Y? So I might do parallel lines like so. And I notice here that I could say Y is equal to 180 minus B. Co-int angle parallel line equal 180. It's going to be very similar to what we've done on the other side. 
And the next rule that I might look to use, then because I've got b in terms of y, I might look to see if I can get a in terms of y. So you'll notice here I can get a in terms of y. Mm, and we'll write it out. Here I use direct substitution. I'll write this one in a slightly different way so you see another method. Here I might say again y is equal to. So y in this case is equal to 180 minus a. Co-int angles parallel line equal 180 degrees. So here I've got two statements and they're both equal to y. So I can write them equal to each other. So I could say something like therefore 180 minus b is equal to 180 minus y. Again my reasonings for that is because they're both equal to y. They're both equal to the same thing so they must be equal to each other. And then using a little bit of algebra I'll rearrange minus 180 from both sides. That leaves me with minus b is equal to minus a. If you want to get rid of the negatives, times both sides by negative 1. And I am left with b is equal to a, which is the same thing as a is equal to b. And then you're done. Mm-mm. <laughs>